Kim on 10B, sample final number 12. This is the net ionic equation problem. Find solutions of aluminum bromide, AlBr3, and sodium sulfide, Na2S, are mixed. Aluminum sulfide, Al2S3, precipitates. Write a balanced net ionic equation for this reaction. Whichever the precipitate is, is the product. There's no other product. So Al2S3 has to be on the product side. If you need to, you can stick in S for solid precipitate. What's that come from? Well, it comes from two Al's plus three sulfurs, right? But remember, these come from solutions of these ionic compounds. So what happens when aluminum bromide is aqueous? Well, we have to be able to split that up in its individual ions, which is Al plus 3 aqueous plus Br minus 1 aqueous. There just happens to be three of them. That's the stuff, the aluminum, that's in the ionic form in solution. So you have to stick the charge on the individual ions. These ions are still there in this solid precipitate, but we don't write charges on compounds, only on individual ions. Now, even if you didn't know what this sulfur was, you know what that charge has to be, because the total charge on this side and the total charge on this side, in this case, it's zero and zero. I'll write those in a little bit darker charge. Has to balance out, okay? So, what does that have to be? Well, you can tell from this anyway. If this is a soluble solution of Na2S, you should know that that splits up into Na pluses, plus ones, and sulfur minus twos. Right? And if you weren't sure about any of those charges, you should be able to tell from the periodic table. Aluminum group 3A, three electrons, gets lost. Bromine 7A, one electron gets added. Sodium group 1A, one electron gets lost. Sulfur 6A, two electrons get added. So the sulfur exists as a minus two charge. If you have to write the state of matter, these are aqueous solutions. They combine to make that solid precipitate. That is it for the net ionic equation. If you have to review, go to quiz 7 or work up on chapter 3 for ions. And then that's chapter 9, exercises A and B. Practice up. Good luck.